Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to add event listeners. The component did mount, mount method is also the best place to attach any event listeners you need to add for specific functionality. Uh, event listeners are same things like uh, on click or something like that. Uh, React provides a synthetic event system which wraps the native event system present in browsers. This means that the synthetic event system behaves exactly the same regardless of the user's browser, even if the native events may behave differently between different browsers. You've already been using some of these synthetic events handlers such as OnClick. React's synthetic event system is great to use for most interactions you'll manage on DOM elements. However, if you want to an attach an event handler to the document or window objects, you have to do this directly. So what we're going to do is attach an event listener in the component did mount method for key down events and have these events triggered have these events trigger the callback handle key press. You can use document.addEventListener which takes the event in quotes at the, as the first argument and the callback as the second argument. Okay, so let's get started with that one. Uh, attach an event listener to component did mount. So here's component did mount. Um, for so what we want to do uh, for method for key key down events. You have e these events triggered the callback handle key press. Handle key press. So here we already have the method written out. Uh, so we want you can use document dot add event listener. So here we were just going to go uh, document dot add event listener. And this is a function which takes the event in quotes. Um, so as the first argument and the callback as the second argument. Okay. What's the event? State that event. This dot state dot message. Add event listener. Okay. So we need to add something in quotes here and then with a callback function of handle key press. Um, yeah, so it'll be something like that. So then in component will unmount, remove this same event listener. You can pass the same argument to, uh, there we go, document dot remove event listener. And I'm just going to spread this out so it's a little easier to see. It's good practice to use this lifecycle method to do any cleanup on React components before they are unmounted and destroyed. Removing event listeners is an example of one such cleanup action. Okay, so we're getting a build error, which means we not do something's not happening in the way that we want it to. So attach an event listener in the component did mount method for key down events. Oh, so in this here, we're going to write key down. I believe that have these events tr and that trigger the callback handle key press. Uh, I wonder if you do the function there. Build error. Handle key press. Unexpected token. Okay. Build error. Open your browser. Take an event in quotes. The event in quotes is a key down as the first argument and the callback as a section as a second oh i'm betting that it's um this dot handle key press yeah because otherwise we're just looking in the component did mount function for the handle key press method so what we need to do is say this so we're saying component dot handle key press which gets us uh this function handle key press and then so if event dot key code is equal to 13 uh, this dot handle if, handle enter so I'm, I'm guessing if we click over here and click enter you press the enter key that's what they're trying to get us to do um, yeah so this is basically saying if you want to add event listeners I'm not sure that at this stage you would know a lot about event listeners it's basically just um, the built-in JavaScript way of testing to see if something happens on a page. And so if somebody hits enter, that would be an example of the most basic uh, uh, key press enter. Okay, so uh, what's happening here? If event.keycode, so 
handle key press, um, add event listener. Component did mount, so we're adding an event listener in which a key down uh, uh, triggers the function of handle key press. Handle key press is tied to the whole component, and so what we can do is look down here, we see handle key press. Now, event.keycode, what does that mean? Well, if you press anything other than uh, enter, so if I come over here and I press spacebar or Y or one, it doesn't do anything, but when I press enter, it's because the key code is 13 for enter. So because the key code is 13, then we, this.handle enter. Handle enter brings us up to this guy, and then what we do is we set the state, this.set state, and then we pass in an object with a key value of message, and then this uh, string, this.state.message, plus you pressed the enter key, this.state.message. But because the message is blank, it's just rendering empty. Uh, and then they're just tacking this on at the end, which is interesting. Um, and then for some reason that I don't think that uh, we understand yet, but you want to remove event listeners in React when you're making your applications. My guess is that this would cause the event listener to be carried on to other pages in your application if you do not remove the uh, element. And uh, yeah, then we close the application out and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see. Oh, the key down listener should be removed from the document in component will unmount. Hmm. Remove event listener. Oh, and then I think we can just go key down. Uh, maybe you just do the same thing. This dot handle key press. Okay, so I guess you need to add the specifics of it. Uh, probably should have. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a way to extract this and say like the event listener, and then declare it somewhere else. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. For now, it's just this is just basic uh, teaching you guys how to uh, get started with this. Oh, you should probably add semicolons in here as well. Okay, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.